it's early in the morning, we're gonna look for some beach glass. So, I'll show you how this is done. How this is done. So when you're looking for beach glass, you wanna look for places like right here. The shore's coming in. I see a piece right now. That's weird because I've been walking all this way. And I didn't even know there. So you see right here, um, the tide will come in and the glasses weighs less than the actual stones around it. So a lot of times, if you come in the morning, they'll be right here on top. Like this little guy right here. See if I have a good bit. I usually find a lot of the clears and not so much of the greens. See that? Okay. There's a piece there. There's a nice red piece there. You guys are lucky with me. I've been walking and didn't find too much. Now you see how there's sand? And there's some of these stones. These are where you want to look in these areas. Like right that, because you see how the water comes up. And this actually, the bigger stones will trap the beach glass. So you can actually dig, you'll probably find more than I'm finding on top here. There's a nice piece right here. You see it? See that? Teach you guys something. This is valuable information. Uh, there'll be a test. Uh, I don't know when. A life test, so probably never. Here's a pretty stone. Look at this. That's the, it's like a polished stone. It's white sandstone with some gray in it. What else can we find here? You never know what you're going to find. You might find some stuff you didn't want to find. Before I get too far ahead of myself here, it's in the Prescott State Park, and that's Beach One right there. This is... Uh, Commons area with a uh, condo up there. There's Sarah's Beach. A lot of other condos on the end, and as you get down to that point, right there is uh, Camp Erie's or uh, Erie Buffs State Park. I used to sit down there when I was a kid with Tex and them, and Mark, my brother Mark, and I would uh, look over this way. I look at the peninsula and say, man, I want to be over there. And now I'm over here, many years later, I really wish I could go back there with those guys. Good times. Good times. This is the stone jetty. Now it goes way out. I don't know how they made it. I'm trying to figure out. I know there's a metal casing on it, so I assume back in the day they had some way that either when the lake was low or they put the casing out and poured the concrete in it. I don't know. But this is one of the neatest, neatest things about the history of uh, Prescow, these jetties. Uh, I've never really done the research to know why they're here. It'll be something for me to get back to you all on. Um, and I have a friend that's a lifeguard, and she's like always yelling at me. She'd be down at that thing and hit her whistle, and she'll say, you know, what, what are you doing near the jetty? You know you're not allowed near it. And I'm like, well, what... It's so dangerous about it. I really haven't <laughs> done anything. Um, but here, here it is. Here's the old stone jetty, and I like it because it creates a natural like, uh, like a gold mining. It's like a gold pan, you know. You can see how it kind of separates things, and it makes it a lot easier to find the glass too. If any of you know how old this thing is, let me know. Well, look at the concrete on it. It's very beautifully aged. The metal casing is old, very old.
the purpose of these, I believe, were to tie um, boats to or something like that. Small rafts. It's going to be a beautiful day on Erie, though. Look at that. Take it all in. We're going to continue our search for beach glass. <laughs> 